Well, can I go into a rave, Chris? Is the time for me yes, to go into you, a rave? Yes. Because next week you're not going to be here, so no. I'm going to I'm going to do more next week on a sort of management conference idea. Not all the show. The not going to be the whole show about such things. But we were talking earlier about music on YouTube, and I'm also interested in all the talks and. Uh, lectures that get recorded and all, all kinds of other content on YouTube because I think at the moment you, you don't get rid of the advertising on that not all of them have elected to have advertising but uh, this idea that if you subscribe to the music service the ads disappear I don't think it works with the, the sort of documentary stuff No. Um, but I'd like to just talk about that and also about uh, Zane's World there was um, an article in The Guardian not long ago. Zane has left Radio 1 of his own choice. And has he? He has. Um, in the book, there's a book called, I think it's Styles of Organising, Gibson Burrell. Um, this is the famous one that you, you get worried about, Chris, with the 3D diagram. Oh, where yeah. we start... When sticking you're signs on the ceiling. When you're going to take away the floor. Well, what I keep trying to explain to you is we're not going to take anything away. We're just going to put notices on the th various dimensions of the studio so that um, we've got, uh, I think it's rupturism on the ceiling and sedimentism on the, on the floor, which in this case is sticking with FM or going completely online. But Zane, you see, is just he's he's not been sacked from um, Radio One as Dave Lee Travis was. There's a, there's a case study in the book about Dave Lee Travis. What a mistake it was. But I think it's fair enough. I think the BBC should get rid of their DJs every so often. For otherwise, I mean, you know, they'll just be playing Madonna's True Blue, which I'm quite happy to play every week. We could play that, couldn't we? Our well, listeners we... would grow old with us. Yeah. It would all be fine. Yeah. But I suppose if you're trying to manage Radio 1, yeah. you try and find something else. So you were saying that Zane uh, doesn't work for Radio 1 now? He's gone to work for Apple. Apple are going to do some sort of radio, but he signed the contract. He won't say anything at all about what it is he's going but to do. Maybe he's coming to Phonic FM. Well, maybe he is. I'd be very welcome here. If yeah. Zane would turn up and explain uh, <laughs> <laughs> what it was he thought he was going to do. He must have some idea, mustn't he? But, the, you know, this whole idea that it's all very exciting, Apple's got a new product and nobody knows what it is. I, I, they can't go on forever like this, because how are we supposed to relate to it? Well, yes, that is very true. Yeah. But anyway, we'll do a bit about that next week. We'll try and move into management as a bit of a bit of a theme. Okay. Um. So let's see what happened now. I reckon it's something from the eighty-two era. <laughs> <laughs> 